Is it a good deal? Is it a good deal? <laughs> Weather's well, always a good deal. <laughs> well, mm. oh come on. I don't know. Yesterday's temperature is not a good deal. No, that wasn't good. Today, <laughs> at least, it's in the upper 20s. We're getting closer to normal, Ooh, which is about double 32. Digits. It's balmy out there. I saw folks suntanning. There's no sun. <laughs> uh, there's a storm system staying way to the south of us, and as expected, this uh, really would not affect us very much if it weren't for the northeasterly winds. You maybe get an inch to maybe two inches of snow out of this. Uh, this is tracking mainly through Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and then to the northeast. Uh, for us, though, we are starting to see the flurry action already with those northeasterly winds. We've had cloud cover all day, and as I mentioned, it's pretty balmy out there. Let's go to the graphics, and we'll show you uh, that we do have that lake effect snow watch along the lakefront from 6 o'clock to this evening until 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. The advisory for the inland sections, the difference being the amount of snow you're going to get. Two to four in this region, four to six along the lakefront. And that is just because of that light northeasterly wind that we're going to see from now uh, until tomorrow evening. And then once it shifts to the northwest, it cuts the lake off and our snow comes to an end. From now until 6 o'clock, about a dusting of snow. So the, hopefully the evening commute gets through just fine. Then, of course, there's Friday night plans, shopping, dinner, movies. Uh, between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., 2 to 3 inches of snow. I think a lot of that will start falling sometime around 10 o'clock, the heavier bands, that is, after 10 up until the morning hours. Then from 6 a.m. to noon, an additional 1 to 2 inches of snow. And then from noon to 6 o'clock, it starts tapering off and an additional inch. Total accumulations heavier at the lake. Uh, four, five, maybe some six inch amounts uh, from Sheboygan County down towards the Waukegan. Inland areas from western Waukesha and Washington counties, uh, all of Walworth County two to four. And then as you go further west, western Dodge and uh, Jefferson County into Madison area, we're talking one to two inches of snow. We're just seeing flurries out there now. It's been very cloudy today, but at least the temperatures are warming up in some locations. It's only 19 degrees, though, uh, in Waukesha. It's 28 in Milwaukee, 30 in Kenosha. And you're saying, what's the difference? It's that east northeasterly wind coming off the water, warming up just a little bit. Wind chills are in the single digits and the teens across the region. Still holding on to 21, though, uh, down in Kenosha. The snow showers, well, we're seeing the flurries now, but the snow showers will gradually increase as we go through the evening hours tonight, heaviest overnight tonight into the morning hours tomorrow. And uh, we'll see lows tonight in the teens and lower 20s. Pretty much holding steady. Uh, from what we're seeing right now. Then for tomorrow, we're going to see mid to upper 20s, northeast wind at 5 to 10, and those snow showers continue throughout the morning hours, then gradually tapering off in the afternoon. Once this light northeasterly wind shifts to the northwest, the lake effect is cut off, and you will see no more snow. Just getting cold once again. The bullseye of this storm is Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. Then moving into uh, the northeast for Sunday, uh, we're going to get the snow, though, because of that northeast wind. And then it's just windy on Sunday with a few clouds. So the flurries are here now. Look for those snow showers to start intensifying as we get later this evening. A low temperature of 23 with 1 to 3 inches of snow overnight. Then for tomorrow, an additional 1 to 3 inches of snow. Most of that falling before 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Your 10-day outlook showing 14 on Sunday and windy. Windchills will be below zero all day. We warm back up for Monday and Tuesday. Hey, balmy on Tuesday, but a rain-snow mix. It gets cold again on Wednesday and we'll stay in the 20s most of next week. So it sounds like this could be kind of a gradual snowfall. Yeah, this should be a, a kind of a prolonged one, but you might get into a little band that's a little heavier. Mm -hmm. All right.